The 2014 New Orleans Saints. After missing the playoffs during his absence in the 2012 season, the return of head coach Sean Payton to the Saints after a one-year suspension for the Bounty Gate scandal proved to be all that the franchise needed to get back into the playoffs in 2013. Perhaps the most important coaching development for the Saints, however, was the addition of defensive coordinator Rob Ryan, who took over a unit that was the worst in Saints history and improved it all the way to the rank fourth in the NFL. Saints' big problem was the lack of reliable rushing on offense and an inconsistent defense against the rush, and that is what ultimately must be tightened up if they are to be taken seriously as a true Super Bowl contender this season. The New Orleans Saints have a potent offense led by quarterback Drew Brees. The team has the best tight end in the league in Jimmy Graham and some talented receivers including Marquis Colson and Kenny Stills. They also added speedster Brandon Cooks via the NFL Draft. The team does have some issues in running the ball, but they still have Pierre Thomas and Curry Robinson. The offensive line still could be a concern as they let center Brian De La Puente leave in free agency, but they still have Ben Grubbs, Jara Evans, and Jack Streif. The New Orleans Saints defense was vastly better under new coordinator Rob Ryan. The team gave up 18 points or less in 11 of their 16 games last season. Could be even better this season as they've added one of the top safeties in the game in Jairus Bird. He will combine with Kenny Vaccaro to give the team a great duo at safety. The team still has Kean Lewis at corner, but they need someone else to start at the other corner and Champ Bailey is not the answer. The rest of the defense is solid with players like Cameron Jordan and Junior Galette leading the way. The Saints added nine new players for this season and they lost a total of 11 players. The New Orleans Saints have lost just five out of the last 18 games against the spread as a favorite with 10 out of their last 16 games as chalk going under the total. Conversely, the Saints have paid out in just 8 out of their last 20 games against the spread as an underdog, with 10 out of their last 18 games as a dog going under the total. The Saints were 11-5 straight up and only 8-8 eight and eight against the spread. The team's games averaged 44.9 points. Join us at BetDSI for the best New Orleans Saints betting options including futures, props, and live in-progress betting during the games.